okay so this this was where we stopped at the first time so i'll just go ahead and explain to you how to do the rest of the part in this part two so just follow me so this is the sleeve i'll just go ahead and sew this side like you've seen me do like this i've sewn it and i left a little space here at the top yeah and, I'll, and i've done the same thing for the um aligning as well so as you can see i've turned the lining to um the good um to good the good side that is this seaming allowance is on the inside but for the sleeve the seaming allowance is on the outside that is it's upside down and i put the lining inside like this okay and this is the way you are going to place it so i'm going to do the slip first all right so um like i said this is the wrist band or yeah this is the wrist band we are going to use this for the wrist band and just like it is on a sweater all right so this is going to be we are going to fold it this way and cut it and then sew it but before then we just take note of the opening of our sleeve which is seven inches as you can see so we are going to cut it at around we are going to cut our um, band our rubber band at around um four and a half because you know it's stretched so it can stretch down to about the seven we need so we're just going to put it like this so i'm just going to cut five instead of the four and a half so i have um two inches extra for to stretch so i'm just going to sew it this way as you can see i've sewn it the reason why i notch that middle so that i know the middle part okay so i just turn it like this you can see it this is what i did i turn it and you can see the way it's fitting in my hand that's where it's going to be at the end of the day okay so what i'll do next is i'll carry the sleeve remember the lining is inside as you can see the lining is inside and the line the swing allowance of the lining and the swing allowance of the main body borders of the sleeve are aligned so i just fix my sleeve like this inside also the swing allowance of this uh, of the wristband i mean the swing allowance of the wristband the swing allowance of the main sleeve and the swing allowance of the lining are all together in one place like this you can see so this is the swing allowance of the lining they are all in one place like this so i'm going to start my stitching from that side clockwise or anti-clockwise anyway you want to do it anyway you are more comfortable with it so you can see so i'm sewing three things together the main border is the wristband and then the lining so i just go and sew it and come back to show you the result so you can see i've sewn it and this is what we have this is the body border is this is the wristband and then that's the lining so i just turn it like this inside so this is our sleeve you can see this is the way the sleeve is now so we've achieved our sleeve the way it ought to be so you can see it this is the sleeve fully lined okay you can see it guys it's so easy so so easy so this is the other sleeve that i've done this is the other sleeve remember i left a little space here the reason i left this piece where well, you see it but the reason i left is so that it will aid me when i'm fixing it to the body well you are going to see the reason so i'm going to put it this way so that i'll just notch and get the middle so i do the same thing for the lining so what i'll do now i'll also get the middle part around the shoulder of the sleeve and i'll do the same thing for the lining to get the middle part of the lining around the shoulder so i'll just carry my sleeve and this is how it's going to be placed just the normal way of facing your sleeve when you're sewing the kaftan or a shirt i'm just going to sew it from the middle like this from the middle like this you can see you're going to switch from the middle down to this side that i left and then down back sew it back from the middle again to this other side that I left. so this is the reason why i let this side so that i can have space to sew it comfortably so by the time i sew it as you can like as you're going to see see it here there's a little space here because of that space i left while i was sewing so i just turn it inside you can see also on the lining there's that space because i left this piece also on the lining okay so i'll just go to the machine and sew to cover turn it like this and sew to cover the lining and then i'll do the same thing to cover the main body okay 
I do the same thing to cover the main body. You can see it. So this is the one on the armpit of the main body. This is it. I'll just go ahead and sew it like that. So I've done it for the other sleeve. You can see how it is here. Perfect, right? The lining also you can see it. Perfect, right? So I'll just do the same thing for the other one. It's super easy. So we are done with the sleeve. The next thing is the collar. Also, you are going to use this rubber for the collar, just like the way it is in on a ready-made um, varsity jacket or baseball jacket. So I'm just going to put it like that. So the next, what, what I'll do now, I'm just, I'm just going to measure the collar of my shirt of my um, jacket. I'll just measure it round. Measure it round, and we have 20 inches on the dot. 20 inches on the dot, you can see it, right? So just like we do for the sleeve, we're going to measure a few inches because the rubber is stretchy, the collar we're fixing is stretchy. So we're going to mi minus the dot a little inches from our um, rubber so that by the time we fix it, it just fits perfectly well. But before then, I just use my iron to just press it down to open it. Yeah, there are some rubbers you buy that they are not folding like this so you don't need to be ironing it all the time yeah so i'm just taking my time to explain to you step by of course i can just keep up this piece but i just want you to follow the process and understand every bit of it as i'm taking my time all right so you can see it used to be 18 and 20 so i just got it cut it at around 19 there about so by the time i'm fitting my sleeve it's going to fit so i'm going to join them like this I'm going to join them like this and create a curve sort of around the top like so this is it there's no measurement to this so just create a curve like this that is all so you can see it's stretchy so we're going to go ahead and fix it on our shoulder but let me explain to you how to go about it okay so i'll just iron it again just to make it flat of course i'm using a low temperature iron So this is my jacket so i'll just um you can see this the top here is not aligned so i'll just trim up the neck a little bit let's trim it off a little bit this same thing here so the for the color we are facing in, in, in every everything actually we are fixing it through the inside okay it's not like um, a shirt I will fix the color on the outside so this we are going to fix it through the inside so this is the neck and let me just explain to you how to fix it so you are just going to put it this way we're going to put it this way like this and you start sewing as you are sewing it you will be arranging it like this when you get to the shoulder you stop and you start over from this other side when you get to the, to the middle to the shoulder that's remain you know, the back neck then you can stretch it and sew it then it will balance off so this is the result after sewing it and after turning it so you can see everywhere is balanced there's no um string there's no uh, rumples around All right so this is it i see do it is on the inside on the lining part so let me show you how it looks on the inside you can see it i just saw the three major component the jacket the main borders of the jacket and then the lining and then the collar just like we did to this list so what is left now is the fixing of the waistband and then top stitching of um, the places where the buttons is going to stay on so what we'll do is just like we did to the sleeve we are just going to fix um put a rubber like this and subtract a little inches from the waist so that we can stretch it okay so i'm just going to minus my hand deduct about eight inches from the neck from the um waist you can see it a little bit to deduct eight inches from the waist so that i can stretch it and it will get to the collar you know it's it's finer when the waist is a little bit um rumpled right it's fine that way so this is also going to be attached to the, the rubber 
the size is 7 by 7 for both the fiber and the main fabric so as you can see i'm going to iron i just ironed it to make it to make the fiber flat you can see how flat it is so but this is not iron i'm going to iron both of them to make them flat because i want this part to be very flat okay so what i'll do is i'll just go carry the um, rubber or the waistband but before then i'm going to stitch around of course to hold the fiber to the um material so after that i'm just going to get the middle part by ironing it of course so i'll arrange it like this get my middle part with a notch and i'll just um set it like this somewhere in the middle if you can also notch the main fabric that's good and fine I don't think it's necessary for me so I'll just go to the machine and sew it like you've seen me do you can see it so I'll just bend it inwards like this bend it inwards like this and then use my iron to press it down and then bend it like this you can see what we achieved if you notice Okay, I've done the same thing here also. If you notice, I've never touched my iron on the um, material of the um, jacket because the material is sort of like a leather and an iron is going to burn it, especially if the iron is very hot. That's why I've not used an iron on it. I've been avoiding it, right? So what I'll do next is you can see our wristband, our rubber is two and a half or elastic is two and a half. So I'm going to measure two and a half on this side and I'm going to cut it off which is the excess so this is at the end of the day this is the only thing i need out of the seven and a half by seven and a half and then i'm going to measure it from here and i'm going to cut off um four and a half because by the time we sew it it's going to give us the four we need all right so i'll do the same thing to the other side so this is that about our wristband that's how this is how to prepare a wristband right or just iron it again so guys if you've been getting um, value from this video and you've not subscribed please just subscribe do me the favor of subscribing give me a thumbs up for this video and hit the um like button of this video thank you so much as you do so so i'll just go ahead and fix my wristband and i'll explain to you how to do it and then i'll go ahead and do it so like as you can see i'm going to fix it like this and stitch it round to the other part and of course if you remember the rubber was shorter the elastic was shorter than the waist so as you are saying you need to be stretching it a little bit you can see you need to be stretching it so that you get to the end so at the end of this is going to create a rumple that is what actually what we want okay so after doing that i'll turn to the other side of the elastic and do the same thing to the lining part so you can see what i've done here I've done one part to the lining part, I've sewn one part to the lining part and one part to the border's part, you can see it. And for me to achieve that, I turned it upside down before I was able to achieve that. So I'm going to just sew the remaining um, space here at the front. This is the front part where the button is going to stay. I'm just going to sew it, you can see the other part here. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew it. And then I'll come back to show you. But of course, if I sew it, there's no space for me to turn it. So I have to lose this part. That's the side sewing I did, the side seam I did, so that I can turn it through that side. So you can see I've sewn this part and I've sewn this part. And the only space I've got to turn it is through this place that I lost. So I'm going to turn it through this place. If you know how to sew a waistcoat, you understand what I did here. But I believe even if you know how to sew a waistcoat, you understand because it's quite clear. Okay. But of course if you don't understand if you have a question i will reach out to me in the comment section and i will reply you as i always do okay so i'll just bring out all the edges so this is the edges that we just this is what we just showed now the waistband okay you can see it i see how it is so i need to bring out this edge so how to do that is that please i lose that little place I lose, I'm going to uh, put my hand through there and you can see it. I'm going to put my hand through inside and push that place so that I can have a perfect edge like this. You can see it. 
can have your perfect edge you can see how it is so I'll do the same thing here put my hand and push it so that I can have a perfect edge okay so that's that about the wristband that's that so the next thing is I'll just go ahead and close these parts because I can't close it all I'll leave a little space then I'll top stitch it there to cover it then the final thing the final step is to top stitch all around this area where the button is going to so I'll just top stitch it you can just look at the picture of um, a ready made one online pictures and look how you top stitch it and you can do it like that too which is what I'm going to do I'll just top stitch it when I get here I'll turn to the neck and then come down again to these parts and go to this other side like that and that is all so guys this is my results as you can see I've top stitched it this is what I was explaining to you can see it went around the neck and then came back to this side and then downward to this side so that's how to sew a baseball jacket or a varsity jacket or a windbreaker jacket guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you've not give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends thank you so much for watching have a great day see you in the next tutorial